guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, back again with another, another episode of My Morphin Collection. And today we're doing the Super Zeo Megazord, which is my one of my top favorite Megazords um, figures that I have and stuff. And this is just so awesome because um, not only do you get, you know, the giant me or the big Megazord stuff, but you also get five individual Megazords as well, too. Or not Megazords, but Zords and stuff that are different than the animal stuff, but they're own like little figures and stuff. So we'll go ahead and start this. So first, here's like a close-up of what it looks like and stuff, as you can see. He does also have uh, two swords that I have somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but I kind of, they're just simple, like, yellow swords, that this this collar. Um, but there's not much to it and stuff, but um, they're around somewhere. So we'll go ahead and start, and we'll first take the pink off. And each one of these is just called... Um, Super Zeo Zord, like one, two, three, four, five, all sorts. So this is number one, and so um, we'll start with each feet. So for this one, you just pull each foot down like that, and then you pull her head out of the center like that, and then there's this uh, center part here too that flips up. So again, it's just a bunch of flipping, so that gets it con to connect together like that, and then you have the two arms that you can pull out and then they of um, course can like bend and rotate and stuff like that so there you have the Super Zeo Zord 1 or the Pink Rangers um, Zord which I like a lot too whoa they're bending on me no I'm joking but again this is the whole reason why I like this Zord so much so there's the pink one now we will go with the green And so pull the green ones off. So again, it's um, two half things like this. So we gotta obviously put them into the resort. So again, you'll just pull the green or the legs out, which are just the bottom things that kind of like turn in like this. And you just pull on them till they've been straight out. And then you can fold the, that up, which shows its head. And I guess maybe you should probably uh, fold this out first. To, I can figure out which way it goes. I have to hold on some technical because maybe it just stays there. I don't know. Not exactly sure what's going on there, why I can't get it to do anything. But anyways, we'll just fold its head down and then its arm forward like that. Do the same thing with this side. But this one, I don't know. Sometimes one goes down first than the other. I'll go ahead and just do that one. And then fold its arm forward. And then you go to attach them together. And I guess they just stick together like that. So it's a really big fat fat guy, fat square. So again, you have the circle with the pink ranger, um, the square with the green ranger and stuff. And this is Zeo's Award 4, I believe. I think, I thought they had numbers on them somewhere, like hidden on them, but I don't really see one on here anywhere. But, so I guess one way it tells it has four stripes on its head stuff, and then it's a four-sided um, square there. So there's the Green Ranger. Again, as you can see, kind of like why I like this one so much. Then we'll go with Blue, which of course is number three. I'd like to do them in order, but obviously they don't um, come out that way and stuff. And so you straighten the legs out, and then you bend them all the way around. I can get them to fold out. They're like stuck on something. There you go. And then they fold around, and the head pops up. And then you just fold the arms forward like that and then now there you have um, the blue Zeo Zord or Super Zeo Zord 3 again very simple and weird there's not much to do with them but they're just so fun and cool I think and then next up we'll do um, the yellow since we'll save red for last and everything and so the yellow you just pull it off the top of the red one then you bend it down I don't think those really do anything then you push the hands in, which is they're spring loaded, so it kind of takes a little bit. And then, using, I thought this went together, but maybe it just doesn't do it. And then I think you just fold that down towards the back, the helmet part. But then, see, its hands are sticking out because they're spring loaded. So if you push them in, you just push on it and they shoot right out. So you've got to make sure they're in so it stands up and everything. And so there you have Zeo Zord 2, which as you can see, it's got the two 
like signs, which like I said, they're like equal in the last video or an equal sign or whatever, but they're just two oblong circles and stuff like that. And then we'll go, of course, with the coolest one in my opinion, which is the um, Zeozord 5, which is the red star. So with this one, obviously, as you can probably tell by this, you just pull the feet down. You can get them undone. So you just pull the feet down, straighten them up, pull the arms out to the side like that, and then turn the top of the star around to reveal the head, and there you have Zeozord 5, which is the red star, which is one of my favorite, which if um, you guys see like my gaming videos and stuff on Xbox and everything, my gamer tag is Fallen Red Zeo, which is of course based off this one and stuff because I love the Red Zeo Ranger and stuff, which of course is Tommy, which is of course my dead set favorite um, Power Ranger and stuff like that, so it just kind of all fits together and stuff. So there we have all five individual Super Zeo Zords, one through five, all in their individual things. And I love because like, or and I love it because they're so um, individualized and stuff like that. Like I like how the Green Rangers all big and fat and stuff, and then the Blues real like skinny and everything. But I just love it so much. So now we can go back and put it together. And I guess we'll probably just go in reverse because it's easier just to start from the top down. Um, so we can go ahead and just do the um, yellow one here. So we'll go ahead and just flip the helmet up to get it out of the way. Unpop pop the arms out and fold them back like that. And then separate it apart like this. Fold the arms down. Then we can pop them out again and turn them the proper direction. And again, this is one that also has a lot of movement onto it as well. And then these hands just go straight down because they're going to slide into the back of the red one. So then with the red, you just fold the arms back in, flip the head around like that. It's hard to get to line up most of the time. And then just fold the feet back. And then it has the holes in the back there that the um, arms slide into. So you then just take it and slide it down on top and it pops in. And then the arms go down into the holes like that, as you can see. And then um, it's got the little notch here on the top of this for the helmet or which fits the top of the star and stuff. And then it's got this piece which can slide down and up. I don't know exactly why, but usually kind of want it up to be able to see the face and everything. So that, then next up is the Blue Ranger. And again, it's just the reverse again. Undo his arms, fold his legs up, and in the top, time get his head to go down like that. And then fold his legs completely up over the arms and everything. So there you have that part, and then you'll just take the triangle and get it upward on like that, kind of like a big belt buckle or something. Now time for the big fat green one here. <laughs> Which I think is funny. So again, we'll just start by folding the arms back, and then you can just kind of pull it apart and it'll pop off. The red, the red, sorry, the green helmet just folds over to the side like that. And then you just fold the... Um, feet up and they release these little like uh, round things that kind of like, clip on this stuff. Do the same with this. We already have the arm back so you just fold that up and over and then fold the foot up and again reveals that thing. And then these attach to each of the um, legs. So we have the left and then the right. Oh, there we go. Make sure it's on there and everything. We have that much so far. And then for the feet, we have the pink ranger here. And again, you just pop it apart. And then you fold her, of course, this part down here. Then her head down in. And then you fold the legs up. If I can get it to do it. Turn that around like that. And then kind of get her foot to go like that. It's kind of hard to figure out how to, like, tell how to do it and stuff like that but you get it in the shape like that so you just kind of squeeze on that and then fold it up like that and then you just put it to where the um oh, i lost the helmet the pink half circles are on the outside and they just clip onto um the top of the gun here if i can figure out where it goes exactly there like that so it's more towards the back like right in here that snaps onto, and then you have it like that. And so now it's standing there, now I gotta put the head back on though. I 
and get this on. There we go. And so now we have the Super Zeozord Megazord once again. This helmet's still down. Um, all back together again. Again, this is my favorite one out of, um, especially all the Zeozords and stuff like that. And again, that's it for this, and you will see it again. Or maybe, I guess you don't see it again. I don't think it does anything else. It could, but I just don't have a brain fart right now of what it could do. But that's going to be it. <coughs> Excuse me. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. Hit the red subscribe button to see more. And don't forget, it's awesome time. <laughs>